Hey everyone again, this is Brian. We're going to look at how to create question banks in Canvas and how to tag outcomes to those question banks because there's a couple different routes you can take. And so I, I want to make one overview video that kind of shows both those options. So in Canvas, I've got two quizzes set up. I have one set up as a quiz and one set up as a test. So this quiz would be a prerequisite to this L's test, right, in, in, in this particular course. The quiz looks like this. So I've got what's called a question group and that will pull questions from a bank. So students get a random question generator, a random quiz generated each time they take it. Uh, so you can get into retesting and things like that. The test on the other hand just has straight questions built and these questions are also pulled from a bank. So let's get into the question bank to take a look at that. To get to your banks, click on the gear icon and then click on manage question banks. I've already got it loaded so we don't have to wait for it. But you'll get something like this. Yours will say, no questions bank, no question banks. Do you want to set one up? In the top right, there's the option to add a question bank, and I've already done that. So let's take a look at this. I've got mine separated out by standard, and that's because we can link individual standards to individual banks. And if we want to assess on individual standards, you need a different bank for each one. So these are labeled by standard, and I've got a general question bank and a test question bank. And the general bank, when I click on this, they're just general questions. So these are just all around vocab quiz questions, main ideas, things like that, that you would use for assessments as you go through the chapter. So I wrote the questions right in there. The question details, these were mostly multiple choice. Um, and they, they, they're they just general quiz questions, right? And this is what is populating that quiz bank. So they're pulling from 1.1 general. So each time it's going to pick three questions out of however large this bank is and put them onto that quiz. To align an outcome, on the left or on the right hand side, excuse me, you see I've got B1.1 loaded, align outcome, and here I've got my biology outcomes and I went into B1, and then this is describe the molecular structures, 1.1 and you can attach it. You can set a mastery score. And this is whatever you want to call it. Some people set 50%, other people set 70%. So this is the decision you would need to make. Um, in general, I throw mine at 50% just because it seems to be a good number to show where students are uh, overall. Um, so we've got the mastery score set, and that's how this quiz is being generated. Now, if you are using multiple question banks, Let's say you're in a situation where you have paper tests printed. One way, instead of copying and pasting all of your quiz questions in, is to make a test bank that links to the paper one. So for this test, I just say question number one. And if I look at the question details, it's A, B, C, D, and I set the correct answer for my test key. And then I just run through my test, Biochem 2, Biochem 3, or cells, or whatever the topic happens to be. Link it to the same standard. And that way, when you build your test, if I go back to my cells test, here are those questions. Let me show you how I add one. Here you can find a question and it pulls up your question banks. I would go into my test bank for that particular standard and pull in any questions that I have not already added to the quiz. You just use the checkbox and then add the questions down here at the bottom. You can do this for any bank that you have set up. You can see I've got a lot more banks set up here for other classes I teach and I pull them in as I go. And so having them split allows me to have retestable quizzes. Like they can take it multiple times because they're gonna get a different quiz each time and then keep my test questions secure but have it linked to the same standard.